Okay, I wanted to go over this EBI finals match uh, from December 2015 between uh, Gary Tonin and Rafael Domingos. There's some cool guard work here and some cool foot sweep stuff and also a really cool finish. Um, I'm not going to rewind much for probably like the first 90 seconds. A lot of stuff's on the feet, but I'll um, pay attention to like some of uh, Domingos' foot sweep stuff. He's got some really cool foot sweeps. He has one even that he does where he'll step in with his lead leg and then kick his rear leg behind and actually try to foot sweep you with his back leg instead of the front leg. Kind of looked like it there, but I think that was actually two, yeah, that was two front leg sweep attempts. So I think he might actually sweep Gary from here. I want to give some like historical context in here as well from... Um, some stuff that, that happened over Gary's career shortly before this. So kind of hand fighting. I realize I'm not talking much right here, but I'm tired. It's been a long day. Little flying guillotine. Boom. Yeah, nice. Okay, so Domingos is going to go in. Boom, he kind of gets a, picks up the uh, front leg. And then he's going to sweep out the rear foot. Boom. Drops there. Now this is where we want to start paying attention. I broke down to Eddie Cummings' role uh, last week. And at this point in time, uh, this was like six months after ADCC 2015. Something like that. And Gary lost to Lucas Laprie by a fair amount of points from getting his guard pass. Gary used to play a lot of like half guard, lockdown deep half, coyote half guard, and he got passed a lot at that ADCC, and here we start to see, like it's it's been several months, we start to see him playing a lot more seated guard right here, looking for wrestle ups and off balances and leg entries, and even some supine lower back guard from like Eddie Cummings, who's over here in his corner. Um, there's a couple moments I want to point out. So a couple near pass attempts come from Domingos here. And if you watch how Gary retains his guard, it's just very, very good work. Gary doesn't get enough credit for his guard, right? I've seen a lot of people talk about, oh, he gets passed a lot because of that Lepre match. But really, I don't, I don't even know if I can think of Gary getting passed since he started working more of this style guard. So if you look... Domingo's kind of hip switch passes, boom, lands, and Gary immediately is just getting this knee elbow connection. Super strong, the hands there, the elbows underneath, touching the knee. As long as you keep those knee elbow connections together, they can't occupy that space between your hip and your shoulders. So even if it means inverting a little, looking for some counterattacks, boom, Domingo's jumps to the other side here around the corner, but watch Gary's right knee and his right elbow. That space is still just being jealously guarded, even if it means inverting, starting to get a shin in, get a knee in. At no point in this is Gary shrimping. I'm not saying that shrimping is bad. There's probably a time and place, but this kind of high leg, knees to the chest, even inverting to square back up, just is a lot more efficient for most people seems to play itself better at higher levels. Gary's back to seated. I think he's going to try like a dummy sweep or like a double inside trip, double Kouchi. Right, and this is good here. Let me rewind real quick. Gary's on his right hip. Domingos has his right foot forward. Anytime you're in seated guard, if they're leading with their right, whatever leg they're leading with, that is usually the hip that you want to be on in order to match that. Oh, um, I think, yeah, he's clearing this grip on the head. He might go in for a little, yep, he went for a double Kooji right there. I think he actually gets one later. You see. There. See, yeah, as Domingos is circling with his right leg forward, Gary's staying on his right hip, 
That right foot can be a little probe. Yep. Boom. All right, yeah. This is the finishing sequence. Gary goes in, kind of looking to trap the leg, and then he comes up on a double leg. Now, at this point, he could probably finish the double, but what he's done is he's gotten Domingos' legs so elevated, he can slide his legs in underneath. I think he goes to a straight Ashi. Yeah. And then what he's going to do is he's going to pull the leg across to start going for an inside heel hook instead. Boom, switch to backside 50-50. And a finish. I'll run that at like 50% speed. Right, this last part. So he's in here, boom, attacks the leg. Comes up in directional switch. Boom. Those directional switches, like high, low, high, low. You're going forward, going backwards, going forward, going backwards. It's really hard for the defensive player to keep up with that. And you're going to see the leg come across here. And then the, the motion is kind of tricky. He gets that right leg across the hip there. Backside 50-50 right here. And the hips are so high up here by Domingo. So it's really hard to finish heel hooks on people for the most part if their hips are higher than yours. So you're going to see Gary actually chop into the back of the knee to sort of bring Domingos's hips to the mat. He goes butterfly grip on this, wrist to wrist, instead of palm to palm. Brings the hips to the mat. Boom. Strong tap. So I just wanted to point that out. It's a great match. I feel like uh, that EBI... I think Gary subbed everybody, and that really, in my opinion, that was the first big tournament where he showed a different guard style than what he had done before, and a lot more like what he's stuck with since then. So, uh, really awesome match there.